Yo, what's good with y'all? In today's video, this is again another subscriber requested video from Gamer CRS 1547. Can you please make one one like a video on how to make destroyable models then it respawns after some time? Alright, alright, I got you, I got you. That's pretty simple. So yeah, let's get straight into it. Alright, so first things first, of course, we're gonna need models, obviously. So um it's not even gonna be a whole thing, bro. I'm literally making cubes. Like I'm literally making cubes. Uh, I'm gonna just make it red. I don't know red, but best color for show. Make it neon. Let me make it a little transparent, cause at the same time it's bright as fuck. But anyway, let's make it transparent, or at least like half transparent, right? And then we'll, we'll of course just name it cube. We will make sure it is anchored. Insert a click detector, right? Then we'll just duplicate it by uh, having it selected and pressing Control plus D at the same time. We'll do that two times, or you can just right click and then do duplicate or copy, whatever one works for you, right? And we'll just spread them out like that, right? Then we're gonna head on over into server script service. This will be our script. This will be like our we'll say cube handler, or we can call it respawner script. It kind of makes more sense to say respawner script, right? And then what we will do is. We will do. We will use a four IV in pairs loop. So we'll do four I comma V in pairs. Game dot workspace get children. Do if V dot name is equal to cube, then V dot click. This one auto fill by the way. Click detector dot mouse click colon connect function. Then in parentheses. I mean close parentheses. Then press enter. Then we're going to do v dot transparency. I believe I spelled that right. It was one v dot can collide equal to false. Now you guys could really just you could destroy the you could destroy the cubes. Like you could do v colon destroy and then just have them like and then just clone it and then just have it like respawn the same. But but then you'd have to get the position of the old one. Then you'd have to clone it. Then put the new one. It's not. It's not a lot of work, but at the same time, I feel like me personally, I prefer this method because it's like it's just much easier. Like it makes the it makes whatever like your model is, it makes it like not usable. Like people can't, they can't, uh, like they can't uh still click on it. They can't walk over and stuff. So pretty much, it's the equivalent of it not being there on the server. It's still there, but for the client, it pretty much isn't there in a technical sense. Then we'll put a wait two seconds. Then we can just copy and paste this and then just do the complete opposite. Make that zero and then set the true and boom, we are done. All right. So this way, this pretty much it kind of in a way it kind of it kind of simulates it to make it seem as if it's destroying itself. When in reality, all it's doing is just making it invisible and turning off can't collide. Because as you guys can see, obviously I can't like but now if, when it spawns, obviously I can't walk through it. But if I left click, I can walk through it like it. You guys know what I mean? Oh, sorry, sorry, I think they forgot. Click the tech store. I forgot. Click the store. Okay, one more thing. V. Dot click detector. Oh, it's nice with detector. Detector. Dot enable to go to false. And yeah, sorry, just add this line. Well, it depends though. It depends if you're using this, because some people might be using like somebody prompts or whatever. But you guys get what I'm saying. Though. Generally speaking, okay, we should be good now. All right. So now, if I left click, oh, click the texture is not about what? Not about our part which base cube. I feel like I spelled it. I, I think I spelled it wrong. I did. I spelled. Oh, and I'm okay. There we go. I spelled it wrong. Sorry. Anyway, sorry guys, I'm tripping. But anyway, okay. Let's try this again. Okay. Enable is not. A what the fuck? Wait. wait, wait, wait. Oh wait, no, I'm tripping. I'm thinking this is a fucking um. I'm thinking this is a uh, what's it called? A uh, proximity prompt. Um. Hmm, need to be within thirty-two studs. Hmm, actually, hold on. I'm gonna test something real quick. I'm gonna test something real quick. There are alternatives to this, like to work around around this. But let me see something real quick. Like take this for example. Let's take this cube for example. If I make the max activation distance zero, 
Right. Okay. There we go. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. There's an alternative. All right. I had a. Yeah. I thought that would work. Okay. So we will simply. Okay. So for click detectors, what you guys can really just do is. Can I just copy this from? What the fuck am I talking about? You can copy that. Anyway. An alternative for using a click detector, we can just do max activation distance equal to zero. Literally, just set it to zero. And then you could just set it back to, well, actually, whatever you want, to be honest. But the default is 32, so that's what I'm going to set it to. Okay. Now, seriously, this time, it we should be good. Okay. So, I left click. Okay. Now, as you guys can see, obviously, I can't click it. So, yeah. There you go. Then it'll, obviously, it'll, in a way, you could say it kind of respawns, you could say. Or refreshes, whatever you want to, whatever you want to call it. Yeah. That's how, you, that's how you pretty much do it. Uh, Gamer RC. Gamer CRS one five four seven. Hope this video was helpful and stuff. Um, yeah. So everyone watching, leave a like, subscribe. Link to join my Roblox group can be found in the description. Thank you guys for watching, and yeah, I'll see you guys.